Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today is day four of my 12 days of stone beer IPA advent calendar. So let's see what day four has to offer us. It is Stone's Scorpion Bowl IPA. Hmm. Well, it's clear in the bottle. Oh yes. This beer comes in at a 7.5% ABV. A 76 IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 3.72. To create a recipe so tropical and fruity with, without additions of fruit was no feat our team of brewers would leave up to the gods. They took floral and citrus notes of mosaic, laurel and mandarin Bavarian hops to dish up mouth-watering fruit punch to the palate. Get deserted on your own island or share with others. One thing is for sure, there's no need to light this one. This is already on fire. That is a very pretty looking beer. It is gold in color. It is wonderfully carbonated. It's got this nice stream of bubbles just coming from the center. Um, very nice white head, super finely packed like soap again. Uh, it doesn't smell like soap. I can smell it just from over here. But yes, a lot of tropical I get like pineapple is what I really get on the nose. Oh yeah. So let's dig in. Right away, the first thing I notice is the body. It has got a nice medium body to it. It is not thin. It is not like a lager. It's got some meat to it, but yet it's not so heavy that it is a dessert. And it has just enough body in it at toward the end just now there's enough oil to coat my tongue with some slight bittery citrus rind peef. I get most of the pineapple in the aroma. So you get a lot of that tropical fruitness in the aroma and you have a very nice dank maltiness. It has a very, very tropical aroma to it. No off-putting aroma. Then you got this thick body and then now I'm getting a little bit of this tropical but bittering notes, like heavy, heavy orange peel. And now I'm getting grapefruit peel. And now I'm getting these nice grassy, oily notes coating my tongue. And to me, I've always imagined that's gotta be what pineapple kush kind of tastes like. At least I hope. But this is a fantastic beer. It is definitely not one of your big fruited beers. There's no fruit in this, and it's definitely not going to be one of those, I taste all these tropical notes. No, this is one of those beers that where they really accent the hop variety in it to let you see that these green little cone-shaped plants have very fruity notes to them. Yes, you're gonna taste that they're green bittering plants, but you are so surprised that, that these little green cone-shaped things can remind you of these sweet tropical candy-like fruits that we take for granted and think are for desserts or treats. I really enjoy this beer. I, I take a lot of these stone beers, I think, for granted. And once you kind of got used to all these big hazy beers and jammy sours and barrel aged beers, especially during the winter time, you kind of forget the old IPAs that you want to remember to always want in your fridge. This is a beer you kind of always want in your fridge as just, I want to drink and I want an IPA. I want the sweeter end of the IPA spectrum. You kind of almost need a few of those type of beers in your fridge, I think. And this is definitely one of those. Cheers, guys.